Hello there, my name is Nikki and this is my colleague Sammy and we're here to show you how to secure an ET tube um, using the AnchorFast device. So it is a two-man job and the reason for that is um, obviously we've got a, uh, an airway here to protect um, so Sammy here is here to hold the ET tube for us. Um, so some considerations um, for patients that we use this on. Um, patients do need front dentures in place to sort of help that securement. Um, and other things, just, just bear in mind if patients have got any facial swelling or um, facial burns, for example. So before we start, I'm just going to do a visual check of the patient. So just have a look. Um, can this the device be used on the patient? So look at the, look at the skin, do a skin check. Um, have a look if the patient's got any facial hairs, um, particularly you know, men may need to just um, remove some of those, give them a shave. Um, again, just look if the patients have got any, any pressure, um, pressure damage already in place. Okay, so we're going to get the device. Sammy is, just for the purpose of this video, Sammy's just popping a, um, not holding the um, ET tube as we would normally, um, and that's just so we've got, got good visual with the camera. So this is the anchor fast. Um, so there's a Velcro strap that sits behind the patient to secure it. There's two sticky parts here that stick to the patient's cheeks, which is going back while we just make sure we've got, um, we've got good contact with the skin. And then we've got the plastic bit here with a bit of foam protection that just sits um, snugly um, beneath the nostrils and above the, um, the upper lip. Okay. So we're just gonna make sure We've got the right, this will fit nicely on the patient. So we're just going to position the plastic bit with the foam um, just a couple of millimetres below the nostrils and just a couple of millimetres above, above the top lip. We're not going to press it in place because we don't want to cause pressure damage, but likewise we just, just need that good contact. The sticky parts then we're going to stick into place. So. And we're just going to press on just to give some pressure and just a bit of warmth just to get that contact for about 20 to 30 seconds until you're feeling confident that we have got good contact and it is secure. Okay, okay I'm happy with that. So next we're going to secure the ET tube to the plastic part. So there is a sticky part here that wraps around the ET tube and secures it into place. So again, just applying pressure that it, it is snug, it is secure, but it's not too tight that it's sort of altering the shape of the ET tube. So that wraps around and then it sits in the plastic that sort of acts like a, I guess like a, a gate that locks and clicks into place. And you will hear that click. So just do a safety check. Is that okay? Have we got any movement? And it is clicked in place, and I'm confident there. Just something to go back to, that the, when, you, when you are um, putting this in place, just to have it sort of central in the first instance. Okay, so next, so we have got the sticky parts here attached to the face that's securing it, but the final bit of securement is the Velcro strap, and this can be quite fiddly, which is why we go back to it always being a two-man two-man technique, one person holding the airway and just sort of helping to um, feed the Velcro strap through. Um, you can, we've seen people before, um, which is quite a useful tip, um, disconnecting the Velcro straps from, from um, the sticky parts prior to, um, prior to putting it in place um, and then sort of attaching at both ends so you get it, you get it, um, the, the securement in place before before you place the anchor fast on. So it just fits at the back of the head. Just see where it's positioning around the ears because you don't want to sort of have, have any contact there and cause any pressure damage there. The Velcro just fastens in place there. And again, it's just getting that pressure right. So if you use two fingers, just should be able to just quite comfortably sit um, 
you know, kind of sit underneath the, the Velcro strap. Um, you don't want it too tight, but at the same time, we do want that, that securement. Um, and then again, do your safety check. Um, are we confident that it's in the right position? We're not going to lose that airway and also that we're not going to cause any, any pressure damage or any other skin damage to the patient. We have got a um, sort of little railroad, I call it here. So with two tabs here, so you can push them in and move the ET tube from side to side quite securely. And that's part of um, just doing regular pressure relieving of the ET tube. We recommend that you change the position of the ET tube every two hours, um, but of course, uh, you know, as part of your assessment, if that can be reduced. Um, and it's also important just to say that, um, just make sure that you're marking, that you're documenting somewhere um, what position the, the um, ET tube in is, if, it, if it's left, if, it, if it's right, if it's in the centre. And again, just doing that visual check for any, any um, sort of skin or pressure, um, pressure damage. And I think that's everything.